Because, um, because uh, now that you're grand and restored to full life and everything else, you wouldn't take a risk of cheating or anything like that. Would you dip in there somewhere and, and pull? Uh, there's 120,000 of them. Go as wherever you like, either side. You can go up here, you can go down there, you can go deep down, you can take it from the top, whatever it is. There you are. Now, just a moment now. Does that say answer C.J. Hawhey? It does. And is there a name and address? There is. And a telephone number. Very yeah. good. You, if you would just stand by there, uh, Brendan, because I may need you to pull another one if there's no reply at this number and so on. Um, tell them something funny about yourself or, or, or talk to me. I'm on line, I'm on line four. The address is... Ben Dunn, is it? <laughs> God, Charlie. You watch yourself. You watch, just watch yourself. That's all I'm telling you. Just watch yourself. Ah, we have a ringing tone by Jove. You are right there, Dot. You are. Very good. <sighs> well, let's hope for the best. I mean, I see it with anybody at all. Hello. Ah, um, could I speak to Peter Lavelle, please? <laughs> um, would you say that Dr. Byrne is speaking? What? Uh, Peter Lavelle is the name I have here. And uh, the telephone number is in Limerick. And uh, they could at least have been watching the show. It's the least you would expect from them, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, 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 I should think so, too. I'm very sorry. Hello, Kay. How are, How are you? you? Oh, oh Siri LaBelle. How are you? I'm, I, I'm, oh. look, I'm looking for Peter. Oh, God almighty. I, oh, God, he's out playing tennis. He's what? I, oh, Lord, Kay, I can't believe my carrot was picked. David. Well, I'm uh, very sorry, Dot, but I can only I, speak to the person oh, on the card. Okay, I'm always sending in a card. Oh, Lord, you can't ask me the question. Who, who, no. no, who are you? I'm Mary, his wife. Well, Mary, I'm very sorry, but our adjudicator is here, Dennis McGivney Nolan, and I can only speak to the person on the card. I'm sorry. Oh, no. no. Is that right? That's right. I was watching your show, all right. I just put my little son to bed there when the... Oh, was it he who answered? Uh, pardon, it was. Oh, it was. I see. I beg it your was. pardon. I thought it was yourself. I'm sorry, darling. Oh, I can't ask you the question. I'm a great fan of yours, Gay. Well, oh, thank you very God. much. I you make me feel me. bad now. I, I no, I, I, you see, the, the, the rules is rules, regulations is regulations. Oh, no, I'm, no, so I'm on the television, David. But, look. Would, <laughs> would, would you tell Peter, please, that I'm very sorry I missed him? Oh, God. He, I, he should be back from the tennis club. Oh, God. <laughs> But sure, I can't wait. We've only three minutes to go I on the show. I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm very sorry, I darling. But thank you all the same. I'm, talk I, I'm, talk I'm just telling my little son I'm talking to you. I can't but, believe it. Well, th well that's very kind I of you and thank you. I'm on a lovely car. I kill him when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Woman, will you country. stop tearing my heart asunder? I can do nothing for you. You can't, you can't bring him at the tennis club, no. <laughs> well, there you are. I, no, I, ha I have to go. I'm very sorry, darling. I know, I know, right. I understand. They're all laughing at you here, but I'm not. I know, I know. I'm... Thank you very I much, all the same. All right. Goodbye now. All right, bye-bye. Goodbye. There you are, Peter. Oh, I'm not too bad. I'm sorry, but there you are. The boss is here. Pull again. You see, wasn't I thinking? There you go, you see. I'm sorry, Dennis McGivney Nolan is an adjudicator. He insists on the rules. There you are. Is the name Charlie Hawhey? Yes. It is. Oh, hang on there, Brendan, for a while. <laughs> Don't go. Uh, uh, tell them another funny story there, Em, um, because this is a, 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 an outside code. Okay, I got that. Tell them a funny story or do something. Oh. E, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. Well, what a, what's the betting that she'll or he'll not be at home this time? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Five to one. Ah, we have a ringing tone. There you go. Ah. Hello? Hello? Yes? Could I speak to Rita Hanley, please? That's what I say is calling. Uh, <laughs> Pat 
Hello? What did you say? Coming up. <laughs> By the way, for Mrs. Lavelle in Revington Park and North Circular Road, Limerick, we're giving you £500 consolation prize. <laughs> Telecom Aaron. Telecom Aaron are giving you £500 free credit on your telephone. We'll be in touch with you about that next week. Now, who are Rita Hanley. Ah, oh, Rita. Yes. Good evening. My, my name is Byrne. You may have heard of me. Gay Byrne. Yes. Uh, the Late Late Show. Yes. yes. Hello? Testing. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Um, are you in Fitzgerald Road in Toker and Cork? That's right. You are. And you yes. sent in the card with the correct answer, Charlie Hawhey, to our postal quiz. Yes. Very good, Rita. Are you happy, Rita? Yes. Were you watching the show tonight? I was. My daughter died last night. Oh, no. Oh, dear, Rita. I'm very sorry. Oh dear, oh dear. How old was she, Dot? Pardon? How old was she? 33 years of age. And why did she die? Are you being funny? No. Why did, what did she, what she did she... She was knocked down. She had a fatal car crash last night. Where did this happen? In Choker. And what, was, was she driving? Or was no. She... No, no, she was walking. She was, she was walking? Knocked down by a car. And she was knocked down by a car? Yes. Good heavens. Well, Rita, I don't think we can continue with this in the circumstances. Okay. I was going to ask you a question. Do, do you want to? I do. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, you do. <laughs> Are you sure you want to? I do, yes. And how many others in the family have you? I have six more. And was she married? No, she wasn't. She was single. And she was just walking along the road? Yes. She was going. No, the bus. And was she killed instantly? In, well, almost. She died e exactly two hours after. And, and ha stupid, how, how, are you, how are you getting through this? Very badly. But she gave us strength. She was one of the best daughters anybody could ever have. And Linda was her name. And, and do you want to answer this question? I do, for Linda. For Linda. <laughs> okay. It's your choice. Well, I'm very, very sorry, and you can see by the, by the uh, response from the audience that our, our hearts go out to you. It's, a, it's an appalling I'm situation. Sure, you know, you know. An appalling situation. Well, pick a number then from 1 to 10, anyway. It's kind of grotesque, anyway. But however, pick a number. Seven. 1 to 10. 7. 7. Okay. Shall we we'll give you a number 7? Number 7. Here's number 7. There you go. Number 7. And, and the, the, the rule is that I have to give you... Um, Ten seconds to answer, and our adjudicator would uh, yeah. have to take the answer on the card, okay? Yeah. All right, it's an easy one. What's the usual alcoholic ingredient in Irish coffee? Whiskey. Whiskey is right. You won. <laughs> Whiskey. Well, as you know, the, the, the Rover 214 is presented to you by Abracababra. One of the, the founding brothers of the organization uh, asked a question earlier on the blue jacket there. But uh, do you drive? I don't. I did. I had some bad car crash years ago. Yeah. And Linda posted the postcard for me. I, I, I'm at a loss to know what to say to you, Rita. I know. As I said, since Linda has died last night, there's a lot of little things that have happened like that. And mm. she posted the card for me. So, <sighs> I don't know what to say. Well, you cope with your sorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Would, would Sister Irene, would, would you have a word of consolation for yes. this woman? So, well, I'd certainly pray for her. I pray for her very much when I go home. I'd be praying will for you? her even on my way home, certainly on the train. Will you? I will. I will. Thank you so much. Brandon, do you want to say anything? I I, I'm at a total <coughs> loss to know it. I mean, it could only happen on the, on the late, late show, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's a terrible tragedy, but I, I know that um, Irene, Sister Irene, will, will, will help her. So we'll all say a prayer for her. We'll all think of her. Yeah. Yes. Listen, Brandon. You're...
Rita. Rita, it is no consolation to you to win I, I, a new I, motor car. I think uh, it, it was. It, uh, I don't believe in accidents. I don't believe. No, I'm sorry. I don't believe in accidents that that you happen to be picked tonight. That your card was card. picked tonight, and I think it, it is because God wants us all to pray in a very special way for you and, and the family. Thank you so much. Well. Well, Rita, there must be some. It's quite astonishing that I pulled the first card. Brendan pulled the first card for, for Peter Lavelle, and he wasn't there. And our adjudicator said, No, the rule is you talk to the person who sends in the card. We pull out the second card, and it's, it's your card. Now, well, it's the last card. She passed. She, she posted everything for me. Yes. So she gave me the card. I filled it in. She posted it. Yes. And it's the very last card she picked for me. Yes. I've answered. I mean, I've entered all the competitions nearly. Yes. I never was never I never won anything in my life. And it is just uh, I you know I can't say what it is. But I just know that Linda practically knows wherever yes. she is. Yes. Well I'm Thank sure you. I'm sure Mr Lavelle won't feel as badly or anything like as badly now for not being there when I call. Uh, Brendan, would the poem fit in here? We're way over time, but I know you had a poem about uh, sort of kind of on the theme of the show, new beginnings or whatever. Yeah. Would it fit? Would it be appropriate? I'll say it for, for Rita. Okay. Because Rita, will you listen to this? I, it's, I, I haven't heard this now, but I knew that he Thank just you, had a poem. Rita, just hold on. It's a poem about beginning. Yes. Begin again to the caroling birds, to the sight of light at the window. Begin to the roar of morning traffic all along Pembroke Road. Every beginning is a promise, born in light and dying in dark. Determination and exultation of springtime, flowering the way to work. Begin to the pageant of queuing girls, to the arrogant loneliness of swans in the canal, to bridges linking the past and future, to old friends passing, though with us still. Begin to the loneliness that cannot end, since it, perhaps, is what makes us begin. Begin to wonder at unknown faces, at crying birds in the sudden rain, at branches stark in the winter sunlight, at seagulls foraging for bread, at couples sharing a sunny secret alone, together while making good. Though we live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion, insists that we forever begin. Begin. That's for you, Rita. Now, Rita, God love you in your sorrow, and uh, we, we're all with you, uh, and we'll contact you sometime about the car. Sometime. We'll contact you sometime about the car. Thank you. Put that out of your mind, and, and thank you for, for participating. God okay. Bless and thank you. All right. God bless you, love. Goodbye. Uh, this is Louise Finn. That was Sister Irene. That was Brenda Canelli. That was Dick Warner. And thank you very much indeed for joining us. There's nothing further to be said after an ending like that. Good night to you. God bless you. See you next time.